Hidden features of Xcode and highlights from the Apple event. Accelerator program for Swift developers. Local app distribution on iOS. Major release of Vapor 5 and other iOS and macOS development news. I'm Alexander Belous, an engineer at ZTAP, and we are getting started. On September 9th, Apple unveiled its latest lineup, the 16th generation iPhones, the new Apple Watch, and updated AirPods. The overall impression? The company is pushing big on software, but there are several exciting hardware updates. Apple Watch 10 now charged to 80% in just 30 minutes. The AirPod Max got new colors and feature USB-C compatibility. All iPhone 16 models receive an action button and camera control for quick access to camera, its settings, and recording management. I'm eager to see how developers integrate the new APIs into their apps. On September 17th, MacPo officially launched the open beta of Setup Mobile, and now everyone can download an alternative marketplace on their iPhone. Over 50 apps are already available, so if you are in the European Union, install Setup Mobile and share your experience in the comments. The new release of Xcode 16 comes with editor config support. No more worrying about text formatting when switching between projects. Activated by default, editor config allows you to define code style directly in a configuration file. Now in Xcode, you can easily customize the type and size of indents, tap width, new light at the end of the file, maximum line length, and removal of extra spaces. Just create a new file in a project directory, set up the parameters you need. Now you can easily split code across files. Copy any code and paste it into the project navigator, and Xcode will automatically create a new file with an appropriate name. If something goes wrong with parsing, you can manually enter the name. This is especially useful when you move an extension to a separate file. Compilation Speed Lifehack. Since Xcode 14.3, there's been an option called Enable Model Verifier, which checks the framework for typical problem before distribution such as missing header files and incorrect imports. However, this check can take several minutes. To avoid long waits during the bug build, it's best to disable this option. This can really save your time. Paul Hudson, founder of Hacking with Swift and the 100 Days of Swift Swift UI courses, has unveiled a new accelerator for developers. This program includes educational materials, a curated collection of books, tutorials, and tasks suitable for all skill levels. It offers five difficulty levels, ranging from beginner's tutorials to advanced topics for seasoned developers, including refactoring, scalable architecture, and project development roadmaps. The program is an excellent opportunity for anyone eager to enhance their knowledge and skills. I highly recommend joining. Shopify uses a technique called top hatting manual testing of changes from a pull request in a new app version to ensure it corrects function. Unable to live without automation, Shopify engineers have created TopHead, a tool for installing builds on simulators and real devices. All you need is a local build file or a server link. For integration with CI, there are two options. You can specify a static URL for the latest app version or generate dynamic URLs, as Shopify does through a URL scheme. If you want to try TopHead in your project, the link will be under the video. Great news for all you fans of server-side development on Swift. In a major release, Vapor file will be completely rewritten in Swift 6 with this transition to structure concurrency. A key change is the removal of event loop future from the API, making the code cleaner and more understandable. Another major update is integration with the modern Swift ecosystem. The framework will introduce solutions such as HTTP types, Swift Foundation, and Swift Arguments Parser, which will make it easier to interact with new tools. The new HTTP server will support gRPC, asynchronous streaming, and server sent events, significantly expanding server development capabilities. For developer convenience, Vapor 5 will immediately offer tools for metric collection, logging, and tracing. It would also improve work with OpenAPI, allowing automatic generation of specifications from existing roads, or vice versa, creating roads based on specification. I'll read more about the future of Vapor on official blog. Link in the description. That's all news for today. See you next time.